something big is happening to a great American tradition. Get off this campus. We don't want you here. Free speech. You leave me the alone. Does free speech mean anything goes? You can't stop me from calling the white man the devil. Or should we draw the line to protect people's feelings? No jokes at all no about jokes. religion. Too humbly. What's happening to free speech in America? These are the jokes you can't tell. These are the opinions you can't express. These are the words you can't use. You'd better learn the new rules for the office. No nice eyes. That's right, John. No more compliments. And the new rules in school. This teacher was fired for allowing uncensored discussions. These words were uttered in a maritime college classroom? <laughs> I said, yeah. And speakers with unpopular views are shouted down and driven off. Who are you to decide for everybody? But should anything go? Even books that can give anyone the know-how to blow up a building? That's a fun book. Setting off uh, uh, explosives can be very recreational. This is your chance to find out how you really feel about your right to speak your mind. You can't say that. What's happening to free speech with John Stossel? In America, over the past few decades, more people in power seem to have come to believe it's their job to stop dangerous speech or hateful speech. Sounds reasonable. Wouldn't that create a kinder, more civil society? But what really happens if you censor speech? Black power! And here's another problem. Who gets to decide which speech is stopped? You can't stop me from calling the white man the devil! Khalid Mohammed's a racist who, in the last two years, has organized rallies in Harlem he calls the Million Youth March. It wasn't a youth anything. It was a hate march. New York's mayor, Rudy Giuliani, said they could not march because they're a violent hate group. But all no good Giuliani is afraid of young black men and women hearing the message of black power. Harambe! Judges said the mayor had no right to stop the marches, one of 15 times the courts have overruled Giuliani. Muhammad's march went on, as did this rally by white racists. And when the mayor tried to stop this taxi protest, hundreds of cabbies just got out of their cars and marched into the city anyway. Giuliani is a danger to America. He's trying to tamper with the American Constitution. Giuliani wouldn't talk to us about this, but to give the mayor his due, the city's in great shape today. Crime's been cut in half, and the streets, where fewer people are screaming at us, are more pleasant. Most people like what Giuliani did, but some, like Robert Letterman, suggest it's not worth the cost. Real quality of life is not about not being bothered. It's about civil liberties. It's about freedom of speech. Letterman's a street artist who sells these pictures portraying Giuliani as Hitler, making New York into a police state. For doing this, says Letterman, he's been arrested dozens of times. You're going to arrest me for what exactly? Locking the sidewalk. Officials say he was arrested for things like disorderly conduct, not for his artwork. But Letterman claims the cops told him it was because of his speech. While they're putting the handcuffs on me, they're saying, hey, you know, we're really sorry, Robert. We know you didn't do anything illegal, but that's our orders. Police wouldn't even comment on that. Now, Giuliani attributes much of the improvement in quality of life in New York to his enforcing laws which had long been ignored. Laws against vagrancy, aggressive panhandling, against those squeegee men who wash your car windows whether you want them washed or not. Letterman and others argue that those activities are forms of free speech too. So Giuliani had no right to curtail them either. Do you know, people are happy that people aren't stopping us on the street and saying, uh, you got spirit change, spirit change? We like that, and you're kind of like that. You're spreading your stuff around no, actually, here. Actually, I'm taking up about two inches of the sidewalk on my own car. But, but to answer what you're saying... people liked what Giuliani did. People liked what Hitler did. Does that make it right? The only reason I'm being arrested is because of the content of my message. The danger is that if government decides when people may speak, that can lead to tyranny. If you're going to criticize elected officials, you need freedom of speech because they command the police, they influence the courts. They're in a position to stop you from criticizing them. That's it. The